This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're in Garden City Park at the Elmont Glass Company, which started in 1949 doing simple jobs such as windows and auto glass. In the 70s, we started doing a lot of contract glazing in New York City, and we started doing some very big famous things like the Rainbow Room, the Four Seasons Hotel. Right now, we're close to 20 people. We are still down a little bit off of the last recession, although we are in a growth mode because things are looking better in the New York City metropolitan market where we mainly are. Glenn is an admitted tech geek, and years ago in a trade journal, he read about an out-of-town glass company working with liquid crystal switchable technology. He placed a courtesy call offering to help them if they ever had a job in New York City. As luck would have it, this company called me back three months later and said, we have a big project in Manhattan and can you help me? It included the liquid crystal switchable privacy glass. And then the, the club said, by the way, you do regular glass, you do mirror, you do storefront, can you do this and that? So that one phone call led to a contract of over a quarter of a million dollars. And when that was over and we got paid, I said, wow, I could really get into this with this technology, and I did. And it's a good thing he did. During the Great Recession, that new technology kept the company afloat. As the regular business started to go down with the whole economy, and the calls for technology stayed steady, and I kept getting the crazy calls and saying, can you do this, can you do that, and I kept delivering. And this is the liquid crystal switchable privacy glass. With power on, the liquid crystals line up and the glass is clear. When we turn the power off, so the liquid crystal is unaligned and you can't see through it, instant privacy in less than a second. This technology is primarily used in corporate offices and in conference rooms for instant privacy during meetings. And more and more designers are including this glass in their upscale homes. We just did a very interesting one on the West Coast. Uh, someone requested a round, switchable glass, bullet-resistant skylight on their beach house. We don't ask a lot of questions. We just said, what do you want? We delivered. They love it. The other smart glass technology that Glenn demonstrated includes a radiant heat glass that produces heat. Variable tint technology goes from clear to blocking up to 98% of light. And the switchable glass is taken up a notch by adding a third phase, making it a switchable mirror. Something you've never seen before, Waldo. Running the company are Glenn and his brother Stuart, who were unceremoniously brought into the company by their father, a former military man. What attracted you to all of this? My father waking me up Sunday morning going, you're going to work Monday. And that was it. And just like that, they were in the family business. It was a good opportunity, so we stuck with it. As we toured the facilities, Glenn shows off his loaded job board, rattling off a list of projects that would make his father proud. Rockefeller Center, the Pierre Hotel, we're doing specialty mirrors. And Mitchell is making sure that they're all priced right and delivered on schedule. We have shop drawings and I believe it's paint color chips out to the Smithsonian Institute. Uh, I've been doing this for well over 35 years. I was in business with my father doing windows and storefronts and entrances and glasses in my blood, what can I say? And glasses also in Glenn's blood, who has gone on quite a journey helping to take Elmont glass from simply cutting glass to the cutting edge of technology. When we stop and think about it, we are amazed at the success and where we've gone to, but you just keep working, you just keep going, figuring out the next challenge and to your next success, and you go from strength to strength and just keep building on that.